Yes, you know, it's actually very easy to, you know, just want to stay in your comfort zone where you feel safe and not do anything. But you would not really get so much done if you don't just move away from that and just get to a place where you can actually grow. Welcome to the conversation on TOS Television Network, your digital first from African news network, reaching you from Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. My name is Ade Sawal Suyi, and as always on this show, I'm gonna bring you something quite um, insightful and engaging, something that, you know, quite a number of women in Nigeria have been talking about, you know, since yesterday and that's what we're going to be talking about on the big story segment of the show today but before then i'll be bringing you covid 19 updates from across africa and after that we're moving straight into the conversation that's the big story <laughs> You're still watching the conversation on TOS Television Network. And as I always tell you, you can be a part of the conversation. Just join or follow TOS TV Network across all social media platforms. It's TOS TV Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe to TOS TV Network on YouTube. That's the channel to watch. And of course, stream our website, www.tostvnetwork.com for news, stories and happenings from across the world. Now, straight into the conversation, the crux of the conversation, that's the big story. And now, so in the ongoing, constitution amendment a bill that seeks to create special seats for women in national and state houses of assembly was flawed when about 208 members you know um, voted against it also a proposal to actually include at least 35 women in political party administration also failed to scale through and now that's been a conversation on the lips of you know women who are interested in politics politics and leadership as to why you know, women inclusion, more women inclusion in leadership position in politics in the country isn't scaling through. And to join me in having that conversation this morning is Mohammed Rajin Anahatu, a politics enthusiast and the second lady in the East of Union Lauren to contest for SCG president and the first to amass about 3,000 votes. Good morning and welcome to the show. Good morning. Thank you very much. You're very uh, welcome. Now let's move straight into it. So, so this bill that was passed yesterday was seek to, you know, remedy the low representation of women, women in yes. legislative houses. Um, but it can only, so it's like they want to reserve a seat for women that can only be filled by women. So this reserve seat, only women can test for it and only women... Um, are going to you know fill that position does it does that move make sense to you as and why should that actually be thank you very much uh, i based on my own opinion mm. i feel that you are kind of if in having that kind of um bill mm. or rather yeah you are kind of streamlining the abilities of the female mm. in the sense that giving them a particular kind of position to occupy is just like you telling them okay you can't go here mm. these are your boundaries mm. these are your limits mm. and i feel that we as ladies we have so much more to offer okay. and a lot of things to bring to the table that you they don't really have to dictate mm. this is um development we're talking about this is the progress of the nation mm. and the country at large so giving them the mantle to be able to go through any length to make sure that they contribute positively to the community. Thank so, you. You, so you're saying that you're not actually in support of creating special seats for women? No, actually, what they can do is to start by that. Mm. Because, you know, Nigeria is a country where we have a lot of um, social and cultural sentiment mm. regarding the female counterparts. Mm. And we have issues uh, of a lot of people feeling uh, females are supposed to be left in the kitchen, mm. they're not to contest or they're not to hold political, big political political um, positions. But with this step, if taken directly, mm. can be in line towards um, having a nation where we have a lot of gender equality. Okay. Yeah. I, I do know that um, 
they you, like you said women can take up you know any roles women yes. can function in any capacity yes i mean what a man can do a man can woman do can better, do too. right <laughs> but but do you think women can actually fill you know certain roles? because if we, if we say women should be allowed to take any role do, do you think women can actually fill maybe roles that have to do with um security um you know those kind of very sensitive, sensitive positions. positions do you think women can actually play in that field um, in response to that, I'll say that the only thing I can agree is that um, we have, for such kind of positions, we have more men mm. in those areas. But mm. that does not mean a female too cannot mm. be into that line. I, I mean, we have a lot of um, generals, we have a lot of um, females in the security line, and they are doing quite very well. Mm. So women can actually fit in 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 those positions too okay I, I mean this bill for special seats for women even though the first lady Aisha Mahmoud very actually went to the parliament to actually you know advocate and solicit for that and then the wife of the vice president was also there when the whole bill was being turned down do you think that there is politics involved in not wanting to actually um, um, have more women you know in the National Assembly in the parliament say no we cannot actually have these seats for women why should we create you know special seats and only a woman can actually can you know, take up that yeah okay let me start um by going back to my experience mm. when i contested for mm. the student union president's position at the university of illori mm. you know um in the course of the journey when i thought about running for such a position till date a female has never been the student union president mm. in university of Illinois. so i had that kind of issues i had people telling me why don't you go for vice president why mm. the president mm. and even when they looked at me and they knew that no this girl has something to offer she mm. has a lot of value mm. and she has been doing things mm. not just um because of the post and all but the issue of okay she's a female and we are skeptical mm. about what she can do mm. you understand we feel a guy will hold that position much better mm. and in the past we've had presidents that have held the positions and have failed mm. and people just take it that way because they feel no they are guys so they are the one meant for it but why why don't we have females that handle these positions and when you see that they are doing beautifully well and bringing the results you require why um go against it why not let them so, so, so it's, it's still a matter of gender segregation. Yes. That, that's just the problem. Okay, but, but I know that ahead of the uh, 2023 general election, the deputy speaker of the house, that's um, Omar Gege, of Omar Gege, assured that it would, they'll, they'll reserve 111 seats for women who are ready to contest for positions in the parliament. Do you think we have actually currently 111 women who are ready to go hands on and contest for positions in the parliament at this point? Okay, um, before um, I respond to that, I, I know that um, we have um, out of 109 um, mm. senators, right? Mm. We only have um, seven females occupying mm. the position as at now. Mm. And then out of um, 360 House of Representative members, we only have 22 females mm. going for such a position and then at the same time we also have um, people who want to contest and run for political positions they sometimes come to um, try to in their manifesto they try to promise things like um, having more groups to be represented especially the underrepresented re represented That's groups it. like uh, the special needs people living with the disabilities and um, the women in particular but then if these things are really or actually will be implemented mm. if it, it will be implemented then it will be a very big um, movement or a big progress mm. for nigeria as mm. a country it will definitely so you're saying that women are actually ready and on ground to take on this yes 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 if the are given the opportunity and the avenue okay. to showcase whatever it is they have. I definitely believe that a lot, a lot of women, female, will want to come up. Okay, so. I, I, um, there's been a lot of conversation over time, you know, around more women inclusion, in politics, government leadership position. And I think this is where this bill, you know, is strong from. But do you think that we are not? 
even though there's been a lot of conversation, people have been talking about it, but do you think we're not escalating it enough? What I, what I mean is, is there a need that to have conversation with more women in politics, maybe through um, community organizing and you know, stuff like that? Do you think we're not, in as much as we're doing so much, we're, we're still not doing enough doing to enough. escalate it? Yes, I'll say I'm a kind of person that believes that if you want to tackle the problem, you go to the root, mm. the root cause of the problem and where it's starting from. Mm. So I believe that if we have um, a lot of issues that impedes this group, mm. and one of them, I mentioned them, is um, social and cultural um, beliefs. And then we have the fear of failure. Mm. And for the females, we have um, lack of trust mm. among the female. We also have... Um, the fear of losing mm. and not being accepted mm. if um, the person should contest. Let me go back to my own election. When I contested, I had a lot of females that um, looked at me differently because they felt, uh, I won't you be going too far? Mm. And in fact, a lot of people were skeptical at first, but when they saw my what I brought That's to the nice table, idea. Because we did a lot of, a lot of um, should I say debates? We mm. did debates. I was the only female amongst the guys. Mm. But then my performance wowed them. And I was even, a lot of people were surprised to see that I was able to pull so much vote mm. and all. I was the second in line. And the difference between the person that emerged and myself was just, was just very little. So I believe that if... In, from schools, you understand, from schools, the primary level, the secondary level, we start encouraging a lot of um, female participation in politics and the likes. You see a lot of people developing interest, you understand. If it shouldn't just basically be at the top, okay. it should be from the grassroots level, okay. you understand, trying to empower females, the girls, the girl child and things like that, okay. it will really improve and make, um, start creating that spark in a lot of female. Mm. And many people will want to um, come out for positions like that. All right, thank you so much for joining me on the show this morning. Thank it's you such very a pleasure much. to have you. Thank you thank very you. much. And thank you. That's it actually for the conversation this morning. But do not forget that the conversation comes to you every weekday, same time, same channel. That means I'll be back here tomorrow. But before then, you know, join the conversation across our social media platforms. It's TOS TV Network on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Um, subscribe to the channel on YouTube. It's TOS TV Network. And stream our website, www.tostvnetwork.com for news, stories, and happenings from across the world. My name is Adesawa. I'll see you. Thank you. And please join me again tomorrow.